Conveyors from Dorner Manufacturing. This is an overview of how to set up and maintain your Dorner conveyor. Following these guidelines will help you keep high levels of performance for your conveyor. This video is intended to complement, not replace, the manuals provided, as they are an essential part of the setup and maintenance process and should be read and understood before beginning. For your convenience, the video has been indexed to help you find a particular topic. However, we suggest that you watch the entire video, since you'll find helpful conveyor information throughout the program. This video will show you what to expect when receiving your conveyor and the steps necessary to ensure the proper receipt of your conveyor. You will learn the initial setup, including mounting the gear motor mounting packages, attaching the support stands, and guiding how to correctly mount accessories, motor controls, and return rollers, and how to track and tension the conveyor belt to achieve the ultimate conveyor performance. Although this video will help you get your conveyor running on your own, Dorner offers installation and service upon request. The conveyor can be delivered fully assembled, or you can receive assistance with installation on site upon request. This will incur setup costs and extra freight costs. Contact our team of trained service professionals at 800-397-8664 or 262-367-7600. Some features of the 2200 series include the self-tracking V-guided belt, knurled stainless steel drive pulley for optimum performance, rack and pinion belt tensioning system, extruded aluminum frame and stainless steel bed plate, sealed ball bearings, T-slots for easy mounting of accessories and a 5-minute belt change. A Dorner 2200 series conveyor makes it easy to increase productivity and quality and now ships in only 48 hours. All Dorner conveyors are built to your exact specifications to fit your needs and are assembled and pre-tested in our shop to ensure a quality product. This means fitting the belt properly onto the conveyor with the V-guide in place and tensioning the conveyor belt to eliminate any lag or slippage. All conveyors are pre-assembled and run before shipping. Dorner's engineered shipping system lowers freight costs and allows quick and easy assembly of the conveyor once received. When you receive your 2200 series conveyor, it will be delivered in multiple boxes or crates containing components such as stands, motors and parts, or other accessories. Locate the packing slip and make sure all of the items are accounted for before you're ready to assemble the conveyor. Look for our new packing labels, which clearly mark the Dorner packages. The first thing you should do when you receive your package is check for damage to any of the boxes. It is important to do this before you sign off with the courier. If there is damage, file a freight claim with the carrier. After you've read the manuals, record the model number and serial number on your manual's cover for your own reference. For conveyors up to 12 feet, your belt will come installed from the factory. For conveyors over 12 feet, join the conveyor sections and install the frame connector plates or the connector stand brackets on both sides. Once the two sections are joined, install the conveyor belt by sliding it over each end of the frame. On the tensioning end of the conveyor, identified with a tensioning label, loosen the fastening screws to adjust the head plate assembly. Tension the conveyor belt by rotating the rack and pinion gear until the end of the conveyor frame aligns with the initial head plate tensioning marks. While holding the pinion gear in place, tighten the fastening screws on both sides of the head plate. For conveyors using Dorner support stands, Locate your stand mounting brackets, support stands, and appropriate hardware. Place your conveyor upside down on the floor or workbench if possible. Attach stand mounting brackets to the T-slots in the frame of the conveyor. To ensure stability, the stand mounting brackets should be placed as close to the ends of the conveyor as possible, without interfering with the gear motor mounting package or the rack and pinion tensioning system. Attach stand supports to the mounting brackets. Determine your required top of belt height and adjust the stands accordingly. For your convenience, many of our support stands are equipped with a reference scale to help you quickly and easily maintain even height adjustments. 
Dorner recommends using diagonal bracing for all conveyors, especially when they're frequently moved in and out of service. Attach the diagonal brace tie plate to the support stand. Using the T-bar and the T-slot, attach the brace to conveyor. Adjust mounting locations to achieve as close to a 45 degree angle as possible. Once your conveyor is set up in place, ensure that it is straight and level. Using a level and temporary support if needed, adjust individual stands to compensate for uneven floors. If ordered, the fine adjustment kit allows you to safely and easily level your conveyor. Lastly, make sure your conveyor is stable based on the number and location of stands you've chosen. Return rollers are mounted on the bottom of the frame to prevent any slack in the belt.